have travelled to Warncliffe Woods, Sheffield, and it is here that one of the finest and fastest mountain bikers in the world learned his trade. Steve Peat, with three World Cup titles, 17 World Cup wins and a World Championship gold, is now a key part of the Syndicate downhill team. He's also the founder of Peaty's Products and, well, still doesn't hang about on two wheels. Are you actually serious? You're going to try and get up there? If you could get a better that's... running, you'd go up easy. But that's like a motorcycle trials bank. Yeah. That's but... like... <laughs> on an e-bike, you got a little bit of an engine. You've got no chance of getting anywhere near getting up there. I'll get near. <laughs> Might not get out for a clean. Fair dues. I mean, fair dues just even attempting that. What's the, what's the, what's the strategy? The strategy is carry a bit of speed in, a bit of momentum, and then try and Whoa. pedal out the top. If I had a little bit better runner, I could come in faster. Oh! Whoa, that was so close! That was ridiculous. It just stopped. Wow, fair dues. That was, that was it's so a bit close. thin there to get a pedal in. So we are in the woods and I uh, just like a Everyone's got different ideas of what type of ride they do on, on any kind of mountain bike. And uh, I think the great thing about e-bikes, and I think Steve thinks the same, is just like messing about, trying to do trial sections. And uh, we've got a trial section. Is he, what are you doing now? I'll come off here, jump in, and then jump that hip there in front of you. Chapel Town, hometown. Chapel for honey, yeah? right behind me. Uh, I guess you've ridden some uh, quite a diverse range of uh, two wheelers in these hills, Steve. I have. Um, started riding in this here wood. Did you? Greenwich Woods. Whoa. Yeah. Well, I grew up a couple of miles that way down in Chapel Town. Used to ride like Chapel Town Park when I was younger and stuff. But when my mountain biking kicked off, this was the wood I used to come up in. Me and Will Longdon built a little track wow. in here, probably early 90s definitely yeah. but i reckon 80, 87 is when i bought my first mountain bike myself that muddy fox hanging up in the uh muddy fox <laughs> yeah there's a pink bottom bracket i still luckily still got it because my dad had it for a while yeah but yeah that's where it all started in this woods yeah and uh this is the steel city track right we're riding now this is i um, mean it is some facility to have on on people's doorstep isn't it it's absolutely awesome yeah there's there's actually three tracks in here there's one over there called pub run there's one over there dh3 which has had a total revamp and um, all the money that we've ever made in the the what do you call it? Steel City Downhill. Don't have to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> all all the money we've ever made from the Steel City Downhill has gone into the yeah. trails back in Greenwich Wood. So and the Steel City uh, race is quite popular, not just amongst racers, but with spectators as well, isn't it? Yeah, people travel from all over to come watch. But more so for me, what's quite cool is like a lot of my friends from being younger that I haven't really spent that much time with over years, they're not into mountain biking or anything. They all woke up from local village and city, they get a beer from down in the bomb hall where the finish line is and bring their kids and they all just come and have a mint day hanging out. Yeah, a beer in a bomb hall at a Steve Peat event, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and do you say, you say there's like quite a few thousand people come here? There is, there's definitely, I don't know exact numbers, but this track is usually lined two or three people deep. The whole way up it, it's about a minute. For the fast guys, it's probably a minute 
13 seconds yeah. or something and it's lined by people this where the jumps are out in this open bit is just crowds of people right. um we have wow. food trucks beer stands like vendors all down that bottom area it's it's really good yeah let's go and take a look at uh, some of the top of the track then let's go ride it I make it. I make it 25 years since you won your first World Cup in Slocomi. Oh, I right. love the stats, Stephen. <laughs> um, 98. So. 98, isn't it? That's 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But did you ever think? Did you ever think you'd be sat here chatting about riding e-bikes in your local woods? I never dreamed that I'd be riding e-bikes. Even when e-bikes first came out, I was like, oh. They're no good, you can't have them, that's just being lazy, that's no good, but road one and soon changed my mind. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's I think it's what just now only four years since Santa Cruz came out with the first e-bike, the Heckler. Yeah, roughly. 27.5 Heckler was their first one, yeah. Yeah. But I mean you've got a place like this, you know, you could you could do what, 30 runs here in a day on a on an e-bike? I reckon you could easily do 30 yeah. in this wood. Yeah, it's probably a, a lap of steel sit down downhill probably is 10 minutes. It's not a steep wood to get back up, so yeah. get back up really quick. So less, you're not using too much battery here, you really? No. And what, what would you do on a normal bike? Probably pushing up. Um, I mean, on a normal on a trail bike, you can actually ride up and it doesn't take too long, but a lot of people come here and just session and push back up and they probably maybe do three in an hour yeah something like that do you think a bike like that is a good trait for a downhill race or, for, or any mountain bike a good a good training tool you know you could you don't use so much energy going up and then you like a, a track you can focus on your skills can't you yeah there's that argument of you don't need it it's lazy you're not getting as fit but if you're going to do 30 runs down <laughs> here you're getting a workout a lot, lot of upper body as well right well, a hell of a lot of upper yeah. body yeah especially on this track because there's a lot of pumping in and out tight corners, jumps, technique. Yeah. Right, let's talk bikes then. Uh, obviously, you've not just got one e-mountain bike, you must have three or four. Heckler 29, um, you've got the Bullet, and also there's the Heckler MX as well, right? Yep. What's your, uh, you got a preference? So I've still got the original Heckler, and then I've got the I've got the full range of Santa Cruises. Um, I've spent a lot of time on the Bullet, which yeah. is twenty seven point five rear, twenty nine front, more so, travel. So the Bullet is one seventy front and rear. Yep. Um, thirty eight fork on there. Yeah. Slacker than than the Heckler MX, Slack, right? Slacker head angle, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, the Heckler, I mean, I've not rode it too much yet, and um, this is like second or third ride on the 29. Yeah. I like it, I think it's more of a, you can still chuck it about, you can still rail, but it's a different technique turning wise yeah. than the bullet. I, I guess part of that is the fact that um, on the 29 inch version, you've got a longer chainstay. I think it's a 461 chainstay on the 29 bike, whereas the MX has got a 4, 45 chainstay, so that's going to affect the cornering as well. Yeah, isn't it? you can whip it around on an MX and kind of get your weight back a little bit more and just throw it in a little bit more. Whereas on a 29, I feel like you need to get your braking right before a turn and then let it carry around the turn yeah. and carry speed out. What's uh, what's the current state of affairs at World Cup racing on wheel size? Uh, I'm pretty sure most people are going back to MX. Really? Um, yeah, there's a big move back towards MX. Greg is still full 29, and not sure who else. I think like Piron was like messing around between 29 and 27.5 last year, but yeah. their new downhill bike is going to be a MX. Right. Okay. They're not even doing a 29. Mm, so, hmm. Interesting. Uh, the Santa Cruz Heckler MX, by the way, and the 29 is 150 rear, 160 front, right? Yep. The 
this is uh, such an amazing track to have on the doorstep. And I guess the great thing is you can ride this on a downhill bike, trail bike, hardtail bike, downhill bike, you name it, e-bike. Do you know what? I've kind of lost touch of the, the weight on downhill bikes. Now, when I left, they were around about 34, 35 pounds. 30 was too light, but it was considered that 35 pound was was the sweet spot, right? Where, where yeah, are we I reckon 33, 34 nowadays. Yeah. Might like get a bike down to 32, like a world bike, tie bolt kit, like yeah. get it down a little bit. But um, I think, like you said before, the 30 mark is a bit too light. You feel like you're not carrying speed. Well. Yeah, I was gonna talk to you about e-bikes. Now there's a bit of a, oh, we got some, uh, we got a puppy got coming as locals. well. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Nearly it's back wheel then. Eh? Sorry, I said this is this is a great place. Oh, hold on, another rider come in. Hey! One more. Oh, there's people on this track all day long like this. Is there? Yeah. Yay! Back to weight. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, the mountain bike industry, you know, we, the e-bikes. Everyone seems to be after lightweight e-bikes, but. I think that, you know, I think the heckler is, we're gonna to switch to kilos for a minute, sorry about this. Heckler, I think is 22 kilos, puts it around you know, one of the lighter e-bikes in the market. I think the bullets, not far off that. What, what's your thoughts on weight? Because the way I look at it is, if you ride a motocross bike or a trials bike, which is, I don't know, 90 kilos, and Sheffield indoor trials here on the weekend, those guys putting those bikes into places. What, what am I thinking on, on the way is, technique if you've got technique you can move a bike around yeah so having a heavier bike doesn't really matter you've got a battery you can get back up a hill it doesn't matter if it's a bit heavier tony bow at the weekend was hopping that bike around because he's got technique and he could have his engine off and still hop around in a circle and move that bike around because he's got a technique on that bike. And it's timing, isn't it? Because like, you know, you got, say you've got a, a route section ahead of you on the trail, whether that be on a, on a 34 pound down bike or a, or a 40 pound e-bike, technique is the thing that'll get you over there, isn't it? Yeah, technique, going light, picking your spots to get grip, picking the spots to get over into the next section looking for quite far ahead timing as well timing and technique yeah massive yeah oh, nice. <laughs> you must have ridden dozens hundreds of different two-wheel off-road bikes in your lifetime and what what is it you like about riding e-bikes E-bikes for me, when I first started riding, I had freedom. I'd leave my house and go for miles and be on my own and, and just like freedom, getting, getting out, getting away, getting into the woods, having fun. And obviously I've been doing it for 35 years and kind of get bored of a certain bit. I'm a bit older, I'm not quite as fit. Um, I still want to go on those adventures and go, out into and then enjoy the downhill side of it and e-bikes just give me that a jump on it it probably gets me out a little bit more because i've got a bit of an engine and um you met you mentioned there about you know you've ridden trials bikes you enjoy riding motorcycle trials and i guess when you ride an e-bike it's it's the uphill technical sections which are just as much fun as the down for you yeah the whole ride for me now on an e-bike is fun whereas i used to grunt up the climbs and get to the top and be like have a bit of a rest now you have a technical technical climb um you can do more of the downs because you can get up a little bit quicker um that's what i like about it and it's good for messing around as well just like finding a bank and just just yeah. doing a couple of sections playing around finding a bank and then you can just whip around and do a quick yeah. thing instead of like it being a bit of a chore to get back to the top of something you can section a track and just keep whipping around and doing more of it so yeah it's good for skills too to like if you want to go learn a skill and you go on an e-bike you can do more of it quicker yeah do do any uh members of the syndicate ride e-bikes yeah. Do they, yeah. Do they use them? You know, like I mentioned, I was with Alan Milway recently and he said that I like, think, I think you do like, when you get to a venue, you can do cool downs, you can look at sections, you can do stuff. All, all our riders on the syndicate ride e-bikes. They've all got them and they'll use them, use them a little bit differently. But when we're at a World Cup, they use them to 
rip up the track and go look at a section that they might be struggling with. Um, instead of having to walk the whole track, get a little bit tired because you've walked it, you just rip up on an e-bike and have a look at a section. For me personally, when I'm at a World Cup, I ride down the side of the track on an e-bike, but if one of my riders radios through to me and like, Steve, this section up top, I think there's a line change or whatever, can you get there quick? I'm in the lift going up, jump on the e-bike and I get there real quick. All right, so let's rip up here. Let's rip it. Uh, Steve, lovely to spend uh, the day with you up, up in the trails here in, uh, in uh, Steel City. Sunny, sunny Sheffield. Uh, what we forgot to mention is this place is great for downhill bikes, trail bikes, hardtail bikes, and even dogs. <laughs> What's the puppy's name? <laughs> Good timing. Huh? Murphy. Murphy. Yeah. Good dog, Murphy. Fastest dog down, Steel City down. <laughs> Good dog, Murphy. Um, Steve, uh, I guess it's free, right, to ride here? It's free. Yeah. Uh, you've also got the uh, the event which is held yearly. Steel City Downhill, yeah, we're just picking the dates for 23, so yeah. that'll be announced pretty soon. Steve, thanks for uh, showing us around here today. I'm sure Local we will get trails. onto the Peak District as well, to some more natural stuff in One the day. future, because yep. that is on your doorstep as well, isn't it? It is, I right mean, there. I mean, Sheffield, Steel City, it is an amazing place to ride uh, mountain bikes, e-mountain bikes. Uh, and I guess we'll see you at the first World Cup of the year at Lenzerheide, right? We will. Cool, have a beer then. Have a beer. Cheers, mate.